Welcome, I am the Streaming Iraq War Veteran and this is another update video on my uh, computer that I have built. Alright, uh, what I got recently, recent switches are, obviously, I got that Corsair H100i V2 all-in-one liquid cooler, as you can see. It's running alright, doing good. And I got, right there, an M.2 drive my 32 gigs of uh, DDR4-3000 my awesome awesome graphics card GTX 980 Ti classified got my power supply down there looks a little dusty doesn't it and then uh, I got my two Samsung 850 Evos in there and then a 2 terabyte Western Digital Black 7200 drive but then the most recent thing that I've just put in or in the process of putting in is that the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 MVN Express um, M.2 drive it's an SSD that's uh, four times the speed of a normal solid state hard drive and I'm gonna be having it as just my operating system and the problem with those is that I like Windows 7 better and I went and bought this and tried putting it in um, it would recognize it under the BIOS under Windows 7 and then well UF, UEFI but I'm gonna call it BIOS that's what I'm used to um, it would recognize it under the BIOS but when I'd go and do a fresh install of Windows 7 it absolutely would not see it at all and there was nothing I could do about it that I could, could figure out and I messed with it for a good couple hours um, I checked out some websites online and come to find out a lot of other people were having that same kind of issues with this card on Windows 7 so uh, I put in Windows 8.1 Pro and uh, everything went perfectly fine and smooth so if you guys prefer Windows 7 like I do um, if you ever figure out how to put this into uh, put an M.2 into Windows 7, let me know because there ha there has to be some way to get that into Windows 7. But it just was not recognizing it under the Windows installer, not like 8.1 Pro did. That's my computer build here recently. I got the drawer over there, <laughs> well, the side panel. But I do like that liquid cooler so far. But the only thing I don't like is the fact that. I don't have fan control so I bypass that and I have the two fans running off the board splitter up there and into the back so where I can manually control them with a fan curve from the motherboard BIOS itself so I think that's a good way to do it I wish those fans had lights on them um, I might eventually get lights because I like the glowing on top but other than that, everything went pretty good with the install on that. It's my first time doing anything with a all-in-one liquid cooler or any kind of cooler for that matter. Water cooling, I mean. But as you can see, it's running good. That's the, that glowing one. It's the same type of fan. It's in those. It's a SP140. It's for static pressure. I will probably be getting buying two more of those and then uh, putting them in my um putting them in uh, the cooler instead of just the plain one so I can have some glow into them but other than that guys as always uh, remember once I get a hundred subscribers on my youtube channel I will be doing a custom gaming PC build and giveaway that's valued at about a thousand bucks I am the Streaming Iraq War Veteran, and if you like this video, please hit a like down below. Uh, write me any comments that you, that you would like to say, and as always, have a good day.